This is Dawn of the Oculites. I never stop talking about how great this game is. And Eagle Griffin Games is uh, showing us here all weekend and week. These guys need their hands on personal spaces, so they picked up the pieces. And now it's your turn. It's all about tribes, and each tribe member has has their own stats, which can change. And it's a big battle for these soldiers. And just to give you a little bit of scope how beautiful this game is and how huge it is. I mean, when you pay the money for this, this is a champion of a game. I'm gonna play the card. Okay, so you have one action left. You can use it to attack me. Right and that card shows his okay. actions. What if you do? Since I have another one of my players next to me. His attack values. Oh, yeah. Because he's helping me out. Can I do the normal thing and run away? Yeah. You can, but it would have to be a breakaway. What a breakaway is is that you blindly draw the top card of the center deck, okay. and you flip it over. Whichever card has the highest number, doesn't matter which card it is. That if you win, you would be able to break away and move away. Let's go ahead and do that so we can see how that works. Okay, so I drew one, so you draw one from the top. Okay. So you flip it. I have a two. You have a four, so you win. You get to break away so you can move up to six spaces away. And I want to try to get to that over there. Yes, you can get over to that. Can I pick up this gem? Yes. I'm moving away from this. Than the attack value. Attack, uh, he's defending, so it's always less than the defense value. Yep. I'm attacking, so it's always less than the attack value since the attack and defense oh, are the same value. Yep. That's bad. Zero is counted as a zero instead of a ten. Really? Yep. Four, I got three. So we negate each other. Okay. Nothing happens. On stuff like that, Do I, uh, you discard that card. I discard it? Yeah, you use it for your for the defense. That's the one action the card can do, so you discard it. Oh, gotcha. So normally when you play that we'll attack it and then have to get Normally you would play another card as a defense. Then you would save this card and then you would play it afterwards and steal the Sun Gem. But since you already have one, 
to draw up, yes. up to seven? Okay. So I need to use a card to activate him. Yes. If I want to attack him. Yes. Sorry. What you can do is you can activate him, you can draw up to seven, and you can attack. Because drawing is an action. Oh, and you have two actions. Yes. Let's do that. I'll do that to activate him. You, okay, you're activating two, so you can activate, activate him first. You have two actions for him. Yeah. So, um, so I just got that. So yep. I can take this first action. Yes. Draw him back up to seven. Yes. In the second action, he could attack back. Yep. I saw the campaign book, you can actually like improve the stats of your guys and yeah, stuff you like be, that. You can help them evolve and stuff like that. This is the introductory scenario so yeah. you get to learn the basics of the game. This is probably one of the most underrated games out there. Right, so Not a lot of people will buy it because of the price point. Yeah. You can use modifying cards, but you can't use other attack cards to modify. It has to have a specific service. Oh, most people just don't know what you get in the box for that price point. This is an excellent, excellent game by Eagle Griffin Games and Ben Borzma. I can't stop talking enough about it. So this is a look at it. You get everything with it. You get five tribes with it. It's a little pricey, but you it gets more than you will ever need, and, and, and it's worth every bit of it. It is a beautifully produced game, and uh, I can't stop talking enough about it. So I can I can put this in just beautiful thick card. Cards well thought out. So let's see what they do here. Use one action to take seven cards, and now he's deciding what he's going to do with his second action. This is my second action to attack this. So he decided to use the second action to attack. So they turn it over. He's got an attack at 11, and you have a defensive 10. 10. Wow. Oh, yep, there's a defense. I can see it with my great camera skills. So you roll 10. You roll 11. Is it 4 or higher or higher? 4 or below. Yes. So you got five and have four. We negate each other. Because you got to do double. Double to actually do damage. Yep. And then triple to do more damage. Yeah. If you quadruple the amount that the, the guy that they have, it's an instant kill. Instant kill for tri uh, quadruple damage. Okay. Double does. My turn. Damage. Triple does damage, quadruple kills. Oh, activate two. And all right. So I still have another guy. So I hope you guys all see this and go out and get Dawn of the Acolytes. Fantastic game by Ben Borzma and Eagle Griffin Games. Probably one of the best produced games out there. I suggest it highly. Uh, so I'll set the action here. 